Good day everyone in this video we will discuss to you about Truth tables for conjunction, disjunction, and negation A truth table is a mathematical table used in logic specifically in connection with Boolean algebra, Boolean functions, and propositional calculus which sets out the functional values of logical expressions on each of their functional arguments, that is, for each combination of values taken by their logical variables types of statements and their connective symbols this symbol is conjunction the connective to use is and this second symbol is disjunction the connective is or the last symbol is negation the connective is not for negation if P is true then we will make the statement not true for conjunction P is true and Q is true then P conjunction to Q is true if P is true and Q is false then P conjunction Q is false as P is false and Q is true this will make the statement false. If P is false and Q is false then the statement is false. For disjunction if P is true and Q is true the statement will become true. If P is true and Q is false this will make the statement true. If P is false and Q is true this will make the statement true. If P is false and Q is false this will make the statement false. Exercise set 5.2 In exercise 1 to 10, determine the truth value of the compound statement given that P is a false statement, Q is a true statement, and R is a true statement. For number 1, P is false, Q is true and R is true. In the fourth column we will now first determine the negation Q. The symbol negation means that we will make the statement not true. Because the Q is true we will make it false. After we determine the negation Q we will determine then the whole statement inside the parenthesis for the negation Q. False disjunction with R base on the truth table negation Q is false R is true which result to true base on the truth table. For number 2. P is false R is true so first we will identify to disjunction R base on the truth value table if P is false and R is true the P disjunction to R is true then for negation of P the conjunction to R we will make not statement not true. Then for R disjunction negation to P conjunction to R if P disjunction to R it false and R conjunction to P and R it is false. For number 3. P is false Q is true so first we will identify to conjunction Q base on the truth value table if P is true and Q is false then for negation of P conjunction to Q we will make not statement not false. Then for P and Q disjunction to P and Q it is false. For the number 4, is P is false Q is true so first we will identify to conjunction P base on the truth value table if P false and Q is true the P conjunction to Q is false for negation of P and Q conjunction to Q is true base on the truth table. For number 5, P is false Q is true and R is true. In the fourth column we will now first determine the Q the symbol means that we will make the statement not true. Because the Q is true we will make it false. After we determine the Q we will determine then the whole statement inside the parenthesis for the P is false disjunction with base on the truth table Q is false R is true which result to true base on the truth table. For number 6, P is false Q is true and R is true. The negation of Q is false in the fifth column we will now first determine the P and negation of Q that we will make the statement not false. Because the Q is true we will make it false. After we determine the negation Q we will determine then the whole statement inside the parenthesis for the negation R is false. Then the P conjunction of Q or not R is false with base on the truth table conjunction to R is which result to true base on the truth table. For number 7, P is false Q is true and R is true. The negation of Q is false in the fifth column we will now first determine the P and negation of Q that we will make the statement not false. Because the Q is true we will make it false. After we determine the negation Q we will determine then the whole statement inside the parenthesis for the R is false. Then the P conjunction of Q or not R is false with base on the truth table conjunction to R is which result to true base on the truth table. For number 8, P is false Q is true and R is true. Then the negation of P is true in the fifth column we will determine the negation of P and Q is true dot then the negation Q is false. And then P and not Q it is false and the P and not Q or R is true base on truth table. This well make statement is true. Or the number 9. P 
P is false, Q is true and R is true based on the truth table. If P is false and Q is true, then P conjunction to Q is false. Then if P conjunction to Q is false and conjunction to R true, then based on the truth table, it will become false. For negation R, if R is true, then make it not true. Next, if Q is true and negation R is false, this will make false. Next, if P is false, conjunction to Q disjunction to negation R, this will make the statement false. Then if P disjunction to Q and conjunction to R is false and disjunction to P disjunction to Q conjunction negation to R is false this will make the statement false. For the number 10, P is false Q us true R is true the negation of P is well be true. Negation of true conjunction to Q well make statements true if the negation of P conjunction of Q is true and conjunction R is true this well make statements true. P conjunction to Q is false the negation of R is false this well make statements false. Negation of P conjunction of Q conjunction of R is true and disjunction to P conjunction to Q conjunction to negation to R is true this well make statements true Q conjunction to R is true then P conjunction Q conjunction R is false in all statement this will make statements true.